Cleveland Model and Supply Company was started by Edward Thomas Pachassa in, not surprisingly, Cleveland, Ohio, in 1918. Although born in Newark, New Jersey, the family moved to Cleveland in his youth. The son of Czechoslovakian immigrants, Ed began his model airplane endeavors as a young man by selling his first model, a simple pusher stick model called the Skylark, at the age of 13. Starting off as the classic basement business, the operation slowly grew into a family affair named A. Pachassa and Sons, after his father, Andrew Pachassa, who drafted four of Ed's brothers as well. Ed later worked for full-scale airplane manufacturers Glenn Martin and Tony Foker, while continuing the model business on the side, until it could become viable on its own. The business rapidly expanded following Lindbergh's 1927 solo flight across the Atlantic. This flight was a boon to any aviation-related business, and Cleveland Model and Supply Company was in the catbird seat to ride the wave of public aviation enthusiasm, as they already offered an extensive line of all Bossel Wood model airplanes. Ten years later, Ed owned his own substantial manufacturing business. His kits included some real innovations for the time, such as print wooden glue construction. By the late 1930s, the company was exporting its model plane kits and plans to Europe, Asia, the Middle East, and Africa. 76 foreign countries in all, and 47 different models were available. At its peak, the firm employed more than 100 people, including nearly all of Ed's family. During World War II, Cleveland manufactured the most complete line of American, Allied, and foreign model airplanes, which led to a famous worldwide enterprise. As aircraft designs became more complex, so did Cleveland models. The popularity of these realistic miniatures and the education young men gained throughout their construction played a major role in the rapid World War II aviation mobilization because the U.S. Army Air Corps was able to enlist recruits that were already versed in the principles of flight and aviation. Much of it gained by building and flying Comet models. No better example of this exists than actor Jimmy Stewart, who was a passionate aviator and model builder. He later became a World War II bomber pilot and a brigadier general in the United States Air Force Reserves. He remained an active model builder even after the war. This boom in wooden model airplanes ended after World War II as priorities changed and most other manufacturers were in the process of switching from wood to plastic. In 1950, Ed legally changed his name from Pachassa to Packard, and by then he was well known as a tireless promoter of aviation, to the point he became known as Aviation's Great Recruiter. This in turn was the title of a book about him and his efforts to promote aviation through models. Some diversification of the firm took place over the years and the name was changed to Cleveland Models Products Company and the Loft Supply Company. They sold other types of model kits as well, including railroads. From 1968 through 1996, the business was conducted solely by means of mail order catalogs. Eventually, the company no longer manufactured kits, but still sold a few of the older kits it had in inventory. Their primary business was selling plans that had been developed by a vast group of volunteers. Recognizing his contribution to the world of model aviation, Ed was inducted into the Model Aviation Hall of Fame in 1978 and the Western Reserve Aviation Hall of Fame in 1990. 1996, Ed retired selling the company to John Jacox, a Cleveland product collector for many years. Ed passed away in February of 1999, but not before the Cleveland Model and Supply Company was known as one of the nation's oldest and most prominent wooden model airplane kit manufacturers. The company carries on to this day. You can still order Cleveland Model plans. If you have an interest in learning more, you can get the book, Aviation's Great Recruiter, by Herm Schreiner. It'll be of interest to modelers, collectors, pilots, and aviation historians who will find this book to be a significant addition to their libraries. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use
some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come on, fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. Come on, fly with me, let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one man bend and he'll tip his foot ring. Come on, fly with me, let's take up in the blue. I get you up there Where the air is rarefied We'll glide starry-eyed Once I get you up there I'll be holding you so near That you'll hear how the angels cheer Cause we're together Weather wild at such a lovely day Just say the word those birds down to Acapulco Bay It is perfect for a fly honeymoon, they say So come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away Back up, come on and let's go and fly Once I get you up there Where the air is so damn rarefied We're gonna fly and we'll be starry-eyed Once I get you up there I'll be holding you so near That you might hear How the angels cheer Cause it's such a lovely day You just say those birds down to a cup of coffee. It is perfect for a flying honeymoon, oh babe. So come fly with me, let's fly, we'll fly.